Okay, so this video is about is about um, my hockey menu, and if I if I, I have this hockey map that I made, and 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 how I made my hockeys is basically based on mapping all the tools I use the most, and I actually started realizing that a lot of the the important tools um they're they're very similar in their in their layout with um. Uh, with the keyboard. So for example, a, a lot of my curve on surface tools, all these orange ones, uh, you know, P is for project, uh, a T is for trim, U is to untrim, I is to intersect, uh, O is to offset um, a curve on surface, um, visual, you know, F full is for full screen, G is for grid. And um, before I, I get even deeper into my hotkeys, I wanted to show you guys how I set them up and also just like just some quick demos. I'm not going to I'm not going to focus too much on proper modeling or anything like that. I'm just sort of I'm just sort of, you know, showcasing what you can do. You know, I'm right now I'm pressing C. Whoops. C to get these uh curves here. Um but let's say I wanted to make them into 3 degree curves. That's just one button. You know, let's move let's move this up. These CVs up, right? If I wanted to skin them, that's one, right? H is my hardware shade. J is my, my um, reflective shade. If I, uh, my query edit is Q, let's, let's add some crown, right? So uh, let's say my, I pick my curves. I don't want to see those CVs. My control, I have my, I changed my control points on and off to up and down because it's, it's, some, it's the most common thing I do. So, so um, it's, that's all it is. That, that's what all, it's all about. Just minimizing all the time it takes for, for something to happen. So let's say I want to project these two curves like that. T is my trim. You know, it's, uh, it really, it, it makes everything a lot, a lot easier. If, um, let's say I want to get, I want to have um, a, a surface here. I could rail that six. Oh, I don't like that rail. Explicit control. And for right now, I'll just leave it with three. And, you know, maybe three, uh, I, I could add a fillet. You know, it, it's all, it's all, um, it's all about making it so that, so that, so that it's as easy as possible or that you don't have to move around to to do something. Um, I don't. I, I technically I can I can I don't need any of this. I could I could just kind of uh, model like this. Uh, and before that's how I used to model, just because I used to have smaller screens. But now that I, the the you know a lot of the resolution is getting so much better that you don't really. It's fine. You can have them around. Sometimes I'll, I'll come here and and you know click stuff here. But most of the time I'm just using my my hotkeys and uh um to to set this up i'm pretty sure like i'm sure if you guys are seeing this you guys already know how to do it but um but just in case i'll show you guys um for example here in the in the control panel you go down here and you go new tab right and then this one i'll i'm not going to keep this one i'll just so i'll call this video right and you go okay and then now i have a tab here and then to sort of drag a tool over there, you have to you have to you know find the tool. Like let's say I wanted to have a, a a circle tool, right? And then you middle mouse click it, and then you you put it into this into this um into this tab. Now uh, I'm gonna add another one too here like that. And uh, when you double click it. You see here, you could you could you could choose what you want. Like let's say I want one with four spans, and um, and you know five degrees, and then um, and then I press go, and then here, I want one with twelve spans. So that one's fine, like that. So five, and I want to double click this. Oh, whoop, cancel, exit. I want to double click this? See that one's twelve, and and then if you press Control and double click. Uh, you can you could change the title from you know circle we'll call it the circle four, right? And then we'll go like circle 
circle four here too. And then control and we'll call this circle 12 and circle 12 here too. Okay. Then to, to add that into my, my hotkeys, which I don't have that many left, but we'll find, we'll find some, um, you go to preferences, interface, hotkey menu editor, control panel, default panel shelf, video, circle one. Um, I guess I can make it, I think, I think this one is still not used. Yeah. And then maybe this one. There you go. Okay, so I set I set it up to to these two hotkeys. One of those the few that I still haven't used, and um, and now that I have that, I go back here and in um, in interface. Remember to toggle single hotkey. So now if I press that button, if you see here, and the other button, I could I could select whatever I want. So then next to it, we'll do one with twelve. And the reason why I'm showing this is because um, if you notice now, I don't have to go into here and primitive and then choose what I want because both of my options are here now and they're, they're set up for my keyboard, which in this sor sort of circle thing doesn't really make too much sense, you know, in terms of time saving. But if you go up here to my like alignment tools, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's my positional, my tangent, my tangent with project, curvature with project you know so now instead of going object edit align this I want I wanted a tangent or I wanted a curvature and I wanted to project like whatever like all that you know over time really starts to add up in your career um, so the, the the quicker you can you can do all that the the more time you saved and and you know the more valuable you become as a as a modeler and and your time is spent a little better you know so I always try to teach people to to model to use hotkeys as much as you can and when you toggle when you toggle um, uh, here in preferences when you toggle single hotkeys um, what what ends up happening is before if you um, if you see up here when I press tab you see how I can write something now and and now it's it's sort of grayed out like that um, the reason that's happening is because of, the, of that of um of the t toggle single hotkey. So like let's say let's say I wanted to I'm gonna delete the history on all that. Uh, let's say I wanted to rotate this, you know, uh, I'll move the pivot here, and I wanted to rotate it, right? Before like a certain degree, before I could I could um I could just start writing the number, but see how it's grayed out. And now if I press tab, see, then it asks me, okay, what, what do I want? And then I go, let's say zero, 45, zero, see? So I kind of want it off my x-axis though, so 45. And, and, and then see, it goes back to gray. So if you ever, if you ever like, you know, uh, your hotkeys isn't, isn't working a lot of times, it's like you accidentally pressed you accidentally press tab so like let's like if I press C to my curve you see how it's getting typed here and it's like nothing's happening but if I press tab and see now 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 I could do everything I want you know it doesn't really it doesn't really matter but um but yeah this is this is how uh, this is how I work and it's really and it's really helped out it's so much of my of my workflow and and the the keyboard I actually use if I turn it on Oh, if I show you my my Corsair utility engine, this is how it looks when I'm not using Alias. It has a fun little wave, but um, when I when when I turn on my Alias program, all these all these light up, and um, and then I, and then this one in particular, K95 had a uh, has these extra G keys, and this and this is where I put all my alignment tools and my saving uh, 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 file save and and all that um, but even if you don't have this one you know all this is very valuable too so um, uh, let me show you guys a little bit of, of, of how I do mine so so here are all my curve on surfaces um, here I have all my object edits detach extend um, 
and uh, and then all my number my all my uh, numbers are I use them to for surfacing. So the ones I use the most like skin, freeform blend, uh, uh, fillet, square, uh, square five by five, um, and and just and basically doing all this my visual stuff. Uh, doing all this has really made my workflow a lot a lot quicker. Um, You know, uh, if I if I maybe oh whoops I still have that. You know, if I if I like we isolate this and untrim it, you know, and then let's say I don't have this curve on surface, and I want to align it, I could just use my project align tool. See how it got activated here, and align it. Now it's aligned again. Trim trim this you know uh, let's say let's say I wanted to sort of maybe rebuild this for some reason I don't know I could always untrim you know uh, and then duplicate these edges you know delete And then, and then for my materials, I actually use the here in um, rendering, uh, the apply shaders. That's my I, I hotkey this up to M, and this also really helped out my workflow because you press it, and then this new tool set comes up, and like for example, you could select this and then click it here, you know, or like let's say I wanna I wanna make all make all this uh, all, all the all the the reflective. The reflective black, maybe skin color, or I'm sorry, a, a car body color. So I could also, you know, go assign by material, and then change everything up. You know, you could always assign assign by object. You know, As, assign by material. And this is, I, I call this a, the Vaporwave um, shader. I really like it. And, but I, use, I just use this to, to, uh, to model. But yeah, so, so I use, I use that, that, that tool to sort of move everything around, and, and then my, plus my hotkeys to sort of help me, uh, you know, speed up all those steps. Because, you know, if, you, if, you're, if your tools are here and you have like a million, even though I think that's fine, I, don't, I, don't, I have nothing against that type of workflow. It's so much. It's so much quicker if you just have it hockeyed up to whatever. Like you know, all my tools are whatever I want to choose. You know, all my curves and my my curves. You know, they're all they're all. It's super. It's super easy for me to to just kind of. I don't think about where the tools are at. I just think about the modeling process. If I, uh, especially once I, I started using these hockeys. But yeah, I wanted to show this quick video to kind of showcase my process. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, I hope uh, you guys learned something or got something of value from this. And uh, I'll probably set up, put, post up the map in my um, in my website so you guys can see how I do it. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you for watching, and uh, have a have a nice day.